Hello Movie Box, Ocean's 8 aims to be the box office queen and it could succeed. This all-female Ocean's spin-off is flawed but entertaining and crime does pay for Sandra Bullock and company. The cast is fun with standouts Anne Hathaway and Aquafina, but what it's missing is the skilled hands of director Steven Soderbergh who gave us the original Ocean's movies. Gary Ross is a commendable director, but one of the movie's biggest secrets is so predictable you can snag it a mile away. I'm still giving Ocean's 8 3 out of 4 kisses for its cast. But my pick of the week is Hotel Artemis. It's not a remake or a reboot. This one is bold and original with two-time Oscar winner Jodie Foster as the aging and emotionally battered nurse. She's broken, yet she loves fixing broken people. She's a conundrum. Well, I right. mean, yeah, they're, they're kind of in this metaphorical, strange little prison. The strange little prison is Hotel Artemis, a secret hospital of some sorts for criminals where each guest is named after their rooms based on a city. Sterling K. Brown from This Is Us is Waikiki, taking care of his wounded brother, Honolulu, played by Brian Tyree Henry. Waikiki, Waikiki Honolulu. 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 I'm Manila. Hey, keep it real, man. Keeping it real in the movie are their fellow criminals, Charlie Day as Acapulco and Sofia Butella as Nice. I love the universe, the whole world. The universe that Drew Pierce created, making his directorial debut, is gritty and affecting. Like a crazy homage to Los Angeles, this one is set in the near dystopian future where LA is having their worst riot in years. Part sci-fi and film noir, Hotel Artemis explores the future by going to the past and the emotion lies behind the characters. Like the mother-son relationship between the nurse and her assistant, Dave Batista's Everest. It's really deeper than I think your average film, average action film for sure. This is not your average action film. The cast is fantastic and the addition of Jeff Goldblum is worth the ticket price. Even the soundtrack heard through the nurse's Walkman is a major character. Would you have the same soundtrack as Jodie? I probably wouldn't. But I say that because I was like, I was around when those, when that, those songs came out. I don't want to revisit them. But visit Hotel Artemis. It gets three and a half out of four. Definitely worth it. Kisses. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, checking into Hotel Artemis.